There's nothing better than toasting a sunset from the cockpit with a glass of wine. But glass? On a boat? And let's not forget the uncomfortable feeling of swallowing a bug with your favorite Chardonnay. But I've got a solution for you. Hi there. I'm Carolyn Sherlock, and on this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast, I'll share a product one cruiser recommended to me, Vino to Go. It's basically a sippy cup for wine. Today's episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by Mantis Marine, maker of the Mantis Anchor, now available in models with and without a roll bar. Proven to set reliably in the most challenging bottoms, the Mantis Anchor digs in like no other, making anchoring safer and boating more enjoyable. Mantis Marine brings to market practical, durable, and affordable marine products, including their anchoring gear, scuba diving accessories, and a fantastic rechargeable waterproof headlamp for hands-free lighting. Their latest is a solar charging navigation light. Visit mantismarine.com and see for yourself. Okay, so let's talk about Vino to Go. A sippy cup for wine. I mean, it seems like we're always looking for the perfect wine glass for the boat. And these are pretty intriguing. Basically, what they are is an acrylic wine glass inside an acrylic tumbler that has a sippy cup lid. They'll fit in a standard drink holder and hold six ounces of wine. And while it's not a crystal wine glass, it does look like a wine glass and not a toddler's cup. Now, a couple of notes here. First, you have to be careful putting the lid on and make sure it's all the way on. It can leak if you're not careful. You can also leave the lid off and just use it as a wine glass that'll fit into a standard drink holder. Now, the opening in the lid doesn't close, so you may have a little bit of wine spill out if you drop the glass or it falls over. Unlike some of the toddler's cups or coffee mugs that you have, it is not leak-proof, so you can't just toss it into a day pack for a glass of wine at the end of a hike. That lid is also really good for keeping bugs out of your wine. Don't laugh. Seriously, there is nothing like taking a sip of wine and swallowing a bug. In some of the buggier anchorages we've been around, that's been a real problem. Acrylic won't break easily, but it is not totally unbreakable. And it can scratch and mar with some use. If you use reasonable care, you'll see several years of service in the typical boat use. Don't wash acrylic glasses in hot water. That's what causes all of those fine cracks and crazing. And if you store them with a fuzzy hair tie or two around them, um, it'll keep them both from clanking and from getting scratched up just in the cupboard. And while they're not insulated, they will help with keeping white wine cool, assuming that it was cold to begin with. Now, a few reviewers on Amazon have talked about poor quality or the glasses being very brittle and breaking easily, while others have been very satisfied. I'm not sure if different batches are different quality or simply different perceptions. I've known several people that had them, um, as well as having used them myself, and I thought they were pretty good quality and would last at least as well as other acrylic glasses that I've had. No, they're not going to be mistaken for fine crystal. They're not going to last forever, but they are good boat glasses. I've put a link to buy them in the show notes. They're available on Amazon. You can also find them many other places, but I put the link to there because it's everybody can get it. Some of the Amazon vendors have the best prices that I've seen of any of the stores. Now, reading reviews and so forth, Obviously, some people think of these as a novelty item or joke for those who are somewhat tipsy and maybe having a problem drinking their wine without spilling it. However, when it comes to boaters, I think we all agree this is an absolutely great invention. Any type of outdoor activity, things where you really can't set things straight up all the time and so forth. Anyways, thanks to reader Laura Wellward for telling me about these. They are wonderful. Have you enjoyed this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast? Please, if you have, be sure to subscribe if you're not already, and tell your friends about us. Thanks. Thanks.